Hello gamers! Today I will be showing you a quick showcase of this little farm I've made using a new 1.21 infested in splash potion of infestation. Now, the way this works, it's a very small farm. You don't need any of these things, but it's just this little little section here. And the way it works is the aways, they can outheal certain types of damage. Sorry, I skipped a step. In here, we've got splash potions of infestation. You can fill them up with however many you want. The door back here is for access and also so that you can breed these guys up because LAs don't need to be bred. They just do when certain musics play. And the way this works, you splash them with the potion. They spawn a bunch of silverfish because they take constant damage from the wither rose. And that can be another damage source. I'll test out some other ones, see which one's the best. But as you can see, it spawns a bunch of silverfish. There's a vine in there to mitigate entity cramming. And you just stand here and swing a sweeping edge. It can be any sword with Bane of Arthropods. Five. I haven't tested all of them. But basically, anything that can kill them like this. There are alternate killing chambers that work. I would recommend just like... I would recommend just spreading this one out. Extending it one block. And then putting a block here. And then that way you could also continue to just kill them and or just hit them directly that is the general gist of the farm that's how you use it you just splash them with a potion they come down and then you collect the xp since there's no drops you don't have to worry about collecting anything it's just purely xp only and it's actually fairly simple to craft these potions all you need is the great basic stuff for any potions really you need the the blaze powder to power it and some water bottles and then from there it's just nether wart to make awkward potion and then put stone in to make it into an infestation potion and then add gunpowder. Now one thing to note is that the splash potion is the exact same time as the regular potion. It does not decrease the duration at all. Alright, I just hopped into creative really quick, grabbed myself some amethyst shards. So I realized I didn't have any. There we go. I'm now back in survival. Oops. Oh, I forgot to grab a music disc. Now, I'm not sure which music discs work. Actually, I know Pig Step works. And that's one you can find in Bastion, so it's a lot less random. Go back to survival really quick. And you can see that once, once they start to dance, they might have to stop taking damage to dance. Oh, I think they do have to stop taking damage to dance. You can break it, and then they might start dancing. Just holding right click here. As you can see, I just duped one there. And eventually it will fill up. Now I'll show you a graph of which ones have the best amounts. Let's get that out of there. Now I'll show you a graph of which ones have the best rates and then we'll get into the tutorial. Right here we have a graph where the number of lays and the time in seconds along how long it takes to get to level 30. So as you can see, one LA takes a significantly longer time than compared to five, and, but even five is significantly more than 10. It just doesn't show it because of how drastic one is. I'll show you one at zero later so you can actually see it. But here we've got how many levels you gain per potion from zero per like amount of LA's. Just a quick little display there. Now here I'm gonna edit and get this to zero. Now it's as zero. Now you can see that the graph is actually, this is what it actually looks like. It's more closer. As you can see, the five LAs to 10 is a significant difference. And what we set, set one LA to more equal so that it's not too disturbing. But then you, you notice it's like, oh, 10 to 40, 46 LAs and 46 is where it starts to start to enti entity cram. And you'll notice it's not that much faster at 46 LAs compared to 10. And it's just, there's so much more lag being produced that I think just having just 10 LAs, 10 to 20 is the best amount you could have. Now, basically, you could build this farm on your own with basically anything. This is not mandatory. Like, you can have it as it's a good convenience thing, but you will need potions. The, this whole thing is around the Splash Potion of Infestation, LAs, because they're the only mob that can heal really, really quickly. Horses and villagers can also heal, and so can players but they can heal nowhere nearly as fast as LA's can, and that's why the LA's are necessary for this farm. But the good news is, once you have one, you can just duplicate them using music. There is a one half slab gap, which the LA's 
if we turn on hitboxes here, are too tall to be pushed out of, but silverfish are small enough to just get pushed out. And this is why, another good reason why having a few of them in there is good, like with one, silverfish can stay on that block and take damage, but with five, they sort of get pushed out, but ten, they absolutely get pushed out, they get shot out of there, they get entity cram pushed away, and they fall into this little water chamber, pushes them into this little one tall thing, where you can just kill them. All right, gamers, in this barrel here, we have all the materials that you'll need. So, well, not counting the allays. But down here, this is for duplicating the allays. So if you have enough, you don't actually need these, but these will help you increase the farm as it is. And anyway, let's get into the tutorial now, shall we? All right, so first we're gonna start off by placing the block that we, actually, let's go over here, let's go over here. This will be our designated killing chamber block. Now it does it can be any type of trapdoor. In fact, even some solid you can replace some of these with solid blocks and it would still work, but I just prefer trapdoors. Oh, I'm going too quick. I'm going too quick. Sorry, this is my first tutorial. But as you can see. Remember, this will be our killing chamber. We can go ahead and put the vine in now if we want. Place one sign here. And then, here, you're going to want three solid blocks because you will be putting water here. You can make an infinite water source and just do place blocks. But from here, what you're going to do is you're going to place three more blocks and then extend this back to like like so now one temporary block here a dirt block here break this block now you have the main transport chambers floors in then from here what you're going to want to do is go up two blocks of glass here extend it out Actually break this, place one here, and then from here, temporary block, put glass around, actually yeah, fill in the corners as well, and place one here, and then one here. Now go ahead and place a door right here, important note, be facing away from the farm before you place it. Now, what you're going to want to do is place signs along this glass. Now, what you can go ahead and do is place in a water bucket here. And then a water bucket here. Now, for this next part, I like to use glass, but you can use whatever block. Just fill in the front and the sides here. Place in your water bucket. And then raise it up and then cut off the top glass there so now you should see a ring around at this level and it only goes out just one more on this side for that little water funnel next what you're going to want to do is grab yourself the slabs and remember the allays cannot fit through a half slab's height so from here you want to get a slab that is the top half slab for this around this whole section. And you can remove this full block. Make sure that there's an air block above the dirt, at least for now. Then, one thing that, that would be a good idea to place in now would be a dispenser. So, you can put in a temporary block here, go in the farm, and the water will move, move you, so it's a little bit hard to do sometimes. And then that will place the dispenser the direction down, which you want it to be. You can break that temporary block, and then you can put a button on it. You can power this in any way you want. I just like to use button because I like, I like this a very manual farm because it's very quick and, you know, it is what it is. Now, another thing we can do here, we can add our next layer of glass. Let's get 
Now this glass you technically don't need, I think, but I would definitely add it. And now you have the majority of the farm done. All you need now, put an armor stand down here and use, use the sword to swing it. And of course, move the allays in. Now, there's multiple ways to do this. I'll show you a good way that I like. Um, it does involve breaking this dispenser and we will get ourselves some rails. All right, so I have here some rails and I'm gonna just say build out to wherever my LA is. I've got rails, put a little minecart down and okay, good. I thought it was gonna fall off there. And from there, you can just push the LA in the top. Might be hard to get it to fit just right. Block this off. There we go. You can go ahead and break these temporary blocks. They don't matter anymore. And from here, what you're going to want to do, have a temporary block up top. And just like earlier when we placed the dispenser. I want to go in here. If you want, you can even remove the water and come fill it in later. And I will go F3B to see hitboxes. Now, what you can do is remove this block, place down a dispenser, and replace it. And there, you can break the minecart, and now the allay is trapped in that section. Now you can play music to duplicate them at any time you want. Re-add the button. And that is the full farm built. All you need now is just a steady supply. Oops. All you need now is just a steady supply of infested... Oops. Yeah. A steady supply of infested potions. It would be a good idea to add a jukebox nearby where the Elias can hear it. Like, let's say you can place it here so you can actually step up to the farm. Put in your music disc. Wait for them to spin. And then they'll duplicate. You'll see there's two now. There's going to be a cooldown. But that is the easiest way to get more LAs in the farm. Just get one in and duplicate it. Play some music. And then make sure to add that water back in. Of course, I uh, deleted it from my hotbar. And now that's the farm completed. Alright, another method of damage that the LAs can take is actually suffocation. And, I mean, drowning. Drowning and suffocation. So eventually they will start to drown and take damage, but they can outheal that. Now they drown a little bit slower than they would from Wither Roses. So I believe this would just be slightly less efficient. But also getting a Wither Rose is just, it's very end game because you have to fight the Wither and have mobs be killed by it as collateral, which means you need to be getting a Wither. So uh, just a water bucket would work very well. I'll do this test with just 10 LAs in there. And then I'll even try suffocation damage, because they can also survive suffocation. However, I believe setting it up in a survival world is just going to be highly impractical, like just very difficult to do, unless I can figure out a good way. I'll get back to you on that after I finish my test. One thing to note is that you'll notice that that farm over there is one block higher for the door, and that makes it very easy to just place a lay spawn eggs in right there. But this design over here that you just did the tutorial for is lower. This is because it gets you, lets you have a view of all, like normally they hide in the corners, back corner, front corner, right and left, which makes it easier to breed them if you're, if you're uh, using music. But if you're using uh, spawn eggs, it makes it a little bit harder to place it down. So if you're in creative mode, which if you're making a farm, honestly, you probably won't encounter too many difficulties. But it's, it's probably up to just personal preference whether you want the door on this block or one block higher. All right, I've got 10 LAs in there. First off, we will start with suffocation. Now, I think I can place that, yep, right there. And I'll only start counting once they actually start taking suffocation damage. Oh no, I'm in creative mode. Okay, I messed this up. I'll get back to you with another test because one thing I am noticing is that the water and the bubbles make them float up just high enough that they can come out on top. So if you're using water, you'll want to barricade it with another row of top slabs. 
That should prevent the alays from spawning silverfish outside of the farm. Okay, so it took me 4 minutes and 14 seconds to reach level 30 with water suffocation damage. And one thing to note is that I did modify the farm. I added some ladders here so I could get up and push this button. And also, you do have to add another layer of slabs on top of these ones or else silverfish will spawn because of the extra height given to the alays. They will spawn above above the current slabs. So, with with the water suffocation. One thing I would recommend is actually adding more alays. I said 10 was the good number, but that was for wither roses. Because at 10 with wither roses, the, the way it is, is like you're just basically collecting XP the entire time. You're in a constant state of picking up XP as fast as you possibly can, which is why it doesn't increase that much between the level like level 10 number of alays and then 46 alays. It's because that's just the start, the initial amount, where right it's a, it shows how quick it takes for it to reach maximum amount of experience being picked up constantly but with water i would recommend adding more than 10. and now i'm going to try suffocation damage in blocks and that's a little bit harder to set up i'll get back to you when i finish it okay it turns out it was way easier than i thought it was going to be so i just have a sticky piston here now you'll notice that some of them do get pulled out with this method so you'll have to keep breeding them but the way it works you push them in, they start taking suffocation damage, hit them with the infestation potion, and then boom, you've got yourself the farm working. I'll, I'll, I'll time it and get back to you about how long it takes to reach level 30. Alright, suffocation damage actually works very well. Uh, this is with only 9 LAs because one of them did escape. But, it only took a minute and 36 seconds to reach 30 levels, which is very quick. It's very close to the Wither Rose, and this is actually fairly easy to set up. It's fairly cheap. Compared to the water, it's significantly faster. It does the same amount of races like the Wither Rose. The Wither Rose is, is a little bit better, though. Although, the, the drawbacks of this one... Okay, the drawbacks of using this suffocation style one is that sometimes when you turn off it, it will drag an allay with it. As you can see, two more allays escape, so I'd have to duplicate them again. So every time you use the farm, you're going to have to make sure that the allays, because they're, they're going to be trapped in there and they might eventually clog up the system and might even block silverfish from pulling down. So even though suffocation damage works really well, it will, sorry, it will stop. And eventually you have to keep keep uh, duping them, keep fixing them. The water will work constantly, although it is very slow. The Wither Rose works consistently and it works fast. So the Wither Rose is the best option, but it's also quite expensive. So choose whichever one of the three methods that you like. Suffocation, Drowning, or Wither Rose. And they all work pretty good. Make sure to like and subscribe. If you want to see a more automatic, AFKable version of this farm, make sure to leave a comment down below. Have a good one. Bye-bye, gamers.